Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I have a button for this. Nope. Bye. <laughs> nope. <laughs> backlog. 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 Hey guys, it's us. Backlog time. That's right. This is the segment of the Wolf Den Podcast where we go through our video game collection. Every game we have ever bought, we put into a little Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one of those games at random, talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. How many games we got? 973. That is going to be number 497. 497. And that is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Oh, for the PC. I thought this was okay. PC is PC. the caveat. Usually, when we pick one that's extremely popular, it's some weird so, version or something. All right, but like, granted, the PC version is just it's, it's the, just it's the, the PlayStation version. It's the Dreamcast version. Yeah, yeah. So at that time, sometimes a game like this that is particularly a console game, yeah, the PC version would be weird in some way yeah but this was just legitimately the yeah so same game that was ported to console so we were n64 kids at the time and tony hawk's pro skater one came to the nintendo 64 but it didn't but the second game didn't come to the nintendo 64 in a timely fashion at all so yeah. in order for us to play it we had to get the pc version and we were not pc gamers uh pc gaming back then was a shit show but miraculously this game worked and we had a controller that we could use for what year was this 1999 i want to say you know we you say we weren't pc gamers but we played a lot of games on pc we had pc games yes but like buying a game we, specifically we, for pc yeah. installing it making sure everything worked and stuff that was very difficult we for us. wanted the games on consoles yes but we didn't have a console for this game like what we we played tony hawk one and we were like that's awesome yeah and then we saw tony hawk 2 would only work on our we couldn't get it on yeah. the consoles that we had except for the pc so yeah. we just got it on pc yes, and honestly have. played the hell out of it on pc yeah um so the, this game came out in 2000 uh for playstation and windows pc and game boy color and dreamcast um the nintendo 64 version didn't come out until 2001 and by then tony hawk 3 had just come out so like there's no point in getting that game on you know the n64 when we had gotten a gamecube and tony hawk 3 on that system i remember having to control it with like the number pad or something like so, there's something really bizarre about it so yeah playing it on pc like it defaults to mouse and keyboard yeah. So, like, you had to play, like, the tricks were with the, the number pad, and, like, you move with the arrow keys. We bought a controller. It was a Microsoft Sidewinder controller oh, that yeah. had all the buttons we needed, and we were able to play the game fairly well with that. Is that it? Uh, I don't remember that. Oh, wait, this one. It was that one, yeah. Yeah, I That was that one what now. we had. Yeah. Yeah. Bitchin'. Uh, I think I played with the number keys. Yeah, you definitely did, but, like, Again, then we got a, <laughs> then we got an actual controller. The video is going to be choppy because yeah. I'm using Discord through a browser. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was the same game that was on uh, a, a console, and yes. so much so we were able to play the 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 whole game, and, yes. and and had the same exact experience that our friends had playing it yeah. on, on their on their PlayStations yeah. at the time. Uh, I eventually did was able to get uh, the PlayStation version of this game when like years later, but uh, yeah, uh, one of the best games on the original PlayStation, one of the best games on the Dreamcast. Uh, this, a lot of people say this is the best one in the series. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, even though we played the PC version, now right. it's all coming back to me. I didn't yeah. even realize that that's the version that I played, right. but now I'm remembering everything. I unlocked Spider Man using the yeah. number pad, um, <laughs> but. It had the the best music, mm -hmm. and you had the manual. Yes, the manual, the manual changed everything. Was not in the first game. No, the manual is like the Spin Dash and Sonic the Hedgehog. Like the first game didn't have it, but the second game it's, did. It's an so integral mechanic yeah. to the game that didn't exist in the first game and mm -hmm. made the first game worse. Yeah, if you're going back to try to play it. Yeah, um, it's integral because that's 
a really easy way to chain moves together. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, without that, it makes the game feel worse. Even though playing the first game with no context of having a manual yeah. uh, is great. Like, yeah. we loved the first game. But then when they added the manual, you, mm-hmm. there was no going back. Same yeah. thing with the Spin Dash and Sonic. Yeah. Um, God, what else can you say about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? The soundtrack, of course. One of the greatest video game soundtracks of all time. Rage Against the Machine. Melon Colin. Papa Roach. <laughs> Papa Roach. Papa Roach was in it. Um, yeah, I remember this game of the level design in particular. The first level um, tried, like, made you think it was going to be a warehouse knockoff, but then, like, it opened up more areas of the map. Like, if you do a certain trick, then, like, this part of the room opens. It was the hangar. The hangar, yeah. yeah. But if you do a trick over here, then, then you can go outside and do tricks out there. Right. Um, and yeah, just the, the way like it opened up all of the levels more and more from what they were. The school. The school is probably the best level in the entire series. The school had the leap of faith in it. Yeah. It had the leap of faith. It was a recreation of famous skateboard spots around yeah. the world. Um, so like when you unlock the videos and the cause like you can unlock the videos of each skater of of them doing tricks in real life, and like you can see like, oh, that's where that's from, that's where that's from. They did an excellent job of like recreating like the real world's um areas for this game uh, yeah. back on like the PlayStation One. Yeah. Uh this is my favorite Tony Hawk game. This is the one I would say to play if anybody needs to play it. I mean I mean to be honest, I, I would tell you to play the <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one and two. The new it, one. The, 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 the new, remake. Yeah, the, the remake. remake. But, yeah, no, you know, you're if right. you're gonna go back to the original series like this is definitely this is where you start honestly i wouldn't start with the first one i would start with this one even though i think like three is a better game and underground has more personality and like character to it like this is like just a good old-fashioned like skateboarding game that like they they don't really make anymore i think the levels the level design Mm -hmm. is is perfect i think the music choices are perfect yeah uh and I don't know if we need more to the mechanics that were brought in other games. Like, Underground, I think, had too much other bullshit. Underground had a lot of other bullshit. But Underground did also, like, add a lot more, tri- like, traditional skateboarding tricks. And made chaining the tricks easier to a certain yeah. extent. Okay. Um, this game, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, had an iPhone port. Oh. And, I and had- an N-Gage port, right? Did it have an N-Gage port? Like no, the was... first one had an N-Gage port. Okay. This had an iPhone port. I had the iPhone port. It was the exact same game. Like, it was just Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Except the soundtrack was completely different. And you have no idea how much a soundtrack affects a game until you play the iPhone version of Tony Hawk's This does look just exactly the same. Yeah, and you know what? It's touch control, so it wasn't as good as, like, playing with a controller. But, like, it was very good for what it was. But this is 14 years ago. Yeah. This video. But because the soundtrack was completely different, like, it just it honestly made it unplayable. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, this, one of the core elements of Tony Hawk is the soundtrack. Yeah. So uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the verdict is play the new version if you, right. if, if you want to. I mean, look, if you have your older versions, like play that too. Yeah. Uh, I would say the best version of Tony, uh, the original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is probably the Dreamcast version. Uh, ran the best, had the high, highest graphical fidelity. Um, controlled just the same, you know. It had, like, the control had all the buttons for it, but. I bet you could probably find the PC version somewhere. You could probably find the PC version. PC version is probably the easiest way to play it. I don't know because the PS2 ver the PlayStation One version is not expensive. Like you can find that anywhere. No, like, yeah, but then you gotta price. plug in a PlayStation One or a PlayStation Two or PlayStation Three. Okay. There you go. You have options. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. I don't know if you'd be able to get the PC version right now. Yeah, I don't think so. You'd have to like find a oldgamesdownload.com. dot yeah. com. That. That is piracy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. You should come watch it on the podcast sometime. If you're on the podcast right now, you're one of these little chatters down here. Stay. Yeah. Everyone else, goodbye. Bye.